From Animal to Everyone Talks, Neon Trees have been pumping out bangers for over a decade. Well, they're in Las Vegas to play the Downtown Rocks free concert series, as well as releasing new music to coincide with their favorite day's tour. And here to talk about it all is lead singer Tyler Glenn. Hi Tyler, how you doing? Hey, I'm well. How are you? I'm, I'm very well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm dying to know what's on top of the baseball cap, though. Nothing. Nothing just, in particular. I'm just wearing it. That's, yeah, a, that's, a, a, that's an underwhelming reveal. That's the kind of thing I would do. <laughs> so what are, you, what are you looking forward to most of all with the with the upcoming tour? Uh, I'm, the chance to do it again, you know. I think coming out of the last couple of years, it felt like a lot of artists weren't going to be able to do this again. And so for us, there's a sense of gratitude and uh, excitement to see the, the fans again. It's our first hard ticket tour in, in quite a bit, so we're grateful is kind of the theme of the the run for sure you, you you just mentioned the fans in particular so what is it that the fans can expect at the show on september 16th at fremont street uh classic energetic neon tree show uh that feels modern and fresh we're in rehearsals right now and it's going incredible um we've designed a show that feels new and fresh for fans and i think there's a lot of fans that haven't seen us play live ever so um also fremont street is such a an iconic strip and I, there's such a uh controlled chaos that goes on down there so i'm excited about the the energy that people will be bringing down there for sure i, I think when people think about bands and think about musicians they, they they tend to focus on the music but when you mention rehearsals you guys put on a show so what is it about that aspect when you come together to think about a live show that you you enjoy that's different to the music side of things you have to stretch man you have to uh <laughs> you know we're not uh in our 20s anymore um and i think there's <laughs> <laughs> There's a real aspect of of being healthy and, and ready to put on a two hour show. Um, also, I think, you know, we have new music. We have music from a record that we didn't get to tour because we put it out in 2020. So there's a lot of new material that um, streams really well. And now we get to like bring it into the live element. Um, I, I think I'm a better singer than I've ever sounded. So I think I, I love getting to flex that muscle and the fact that we're going to do that every night for five weeks is daunting but uh really exciting and thrilling so you, you mentioned stretching as well not just the vocal muscles but physically can we expect a tyler glenn workout video in time for christmas let's do it <laughs> let's do it yeah um yeah. sure yeah yeah i'll I'll start cameo or something. And you can I, I, I'm, I'm we'll, prepared we'll to get. <laughs> I'm prepared to get very Jane Fonda in the background and like you know full on spandex and and do do the whole thing with you if you like. You would look great. I don't know if I would look great in the <laughs> spandex, but we'll. I'll try something on for it. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, we'll we'll talk about it afterwards. Now, you you, you mentioned right. briefly for, uh, favorite days. You know the new album that's going to be coming out. Um, what what's different from previous uh, incarnations of the band and and your music that fans can look forward to that's something completely different that they've not heard from Neon Trees before? I mean, not to sound cliche, but, but the fifth record, there's a, definitely a maturity. I think um, I've matured as a, a person. I've become way more of a, a whole person um, in my late 30s. I, you know, I've been through a lot. I, I came out um, in uh, only nine years ago, and I, I, I feel like there have been some delayed experiences in my life that I've, I finally have caught up to. And um, so in that way, I feel like a very honest writer and an honest version of myself. Not that I wasn't before, but I feel more like there's less of a ceiling. And I think you can notice that in the lyrics, in my approach to, to the, the melodies. Um, and I think it still sounds like a classic Neon Trees record in terms of th there's melody and, and catchiness and, and danceability. Um, because at the end of the day, I want people to just have a good time. So, But there's a lot of thought, I think, on this record that is raw. And if you want to pay attention to the lyrics, there's something there for, for you, for sure. You, you mentioned honesty and about the coming out. Surely that goes somewhat into the, uh, the, the work you do with the Love Lao Foundation, your nonprofit with Dan Reynolds of Imagine Dragons that supports LGBTQ youth. Can you briefly touch on that? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Dan, Dan is a friend of mine. I've known him since we've known each other since our early twenties. We were both raised uh, in the Mormon church and I had my own experiences with that religion that felt sort of ostracizing and there was a lot of pain, um, the better part of the middle of last decade. And I, Dan, as a friend noticed that and, and he at the same time had this platform and wanted to do something with it. So in 2017, him and I collaborated to start the first Love Loud Festival, which is a festival focusing on faith-based communities that have LGBT kids and sort of giving options to families because more often than not in these faith communities, there's sort of these rules or, or walls put up to sort of really limit the the health and safety of a LGBT person, um, especially as a kid. And I think within the Mormon church, we have so much love for the people in that community, whether or not we sort of still subscribe to the faith. Um, and it, it's really done really wonderful work to give breathing room to these families. Um, you know, these are arena sized festival shows with national acts of all stature and size coming together to give music and spoken word to families and, and uh, LGBT kids that feel othered uh, in their small town. And now we're taking it to Austin, Texas this year and Washington, D.C. So it's sort of going on tour. Um, and it's been the a real healing joy of my life. Um, you know, music was always my main love, but to be able to do something with purpose that I feel direct, uh, directly in, inspired by and part of uh, has really healed a lot of my 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 sadness um and it's been a lovely thing to be reminded that love truly cuts through and and heals a lot so tyler i, I wish we had more time to talk about that that course maybe when you're in town you can come into to the studio and we can sit down and, and have a, a bigger longer interview with you that'd be great uh, but thank you for your sure. time again, Tyler. Neon Trues will be performing at the Fremont Street Experience this Saturday, the 16th at 9 p.m. on the First Street stage. And who knows, he may even be doing some stretches and warm-ups with you all. 